If it cannot break its eggshell, it's... Okay, I can't read that fast. Anyway, hello, everybody, and welcome to episode, uh, 18? Maybe 17? Uh, quick math. It's 18, because 6 times 3 is 18. Boom. Okay, we're on episode 18. What happened last time? You may be asking yourself. Well, we had to make our first decision in what seems like eons, millennia even. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Anyway, uh, we had to... We were on a little date with Yuri, a little cafe adventure, if you will, and we ended up uh, having to order for her because she just couldn't get the words out, which is understandable. You know, talking to people is scary. That's why I'm talking to a computer screen right now instead of actual real-life people. Also because there's a global pandemic going on, but that's besides the point. Anyway, we made the right choice in that case, so... I was happy with that. I'm happy that you're here. And since you're here, go ahead. Just just, just calm down for a second. I know you, you had a hard day, or maybe you had a really good day, and you just gotta wind down. But you're here with me now. You're safe. Let's go ahead and get started. Eh, eh, eh. Burr. I'm really starting to feel the chill of the nippy November air. If this is any indication, it looks like winter is going to be pretty bad this year. Blowing on my hands, I start the journey to school. Although I stop once, I see a familiar red bow on the a sidewalk. Hey, Mark, happy? Morning, Sayori. Man, it's cold, isn't it? She shivers slightly, no surprise given her uniform. Much like mine, isn't really built for warmth. Ha, uh, it really is. My hands are the worst. I've always, I'm always forgetting gloves. Oh, ah. Forgetting, or have you just lost them again? Same thing, really. Anyway, how have you been recently? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. How about you? Yeah, I've been okay. This year feels like it's going by so quickly, doesn't it? Tell me about it. Since joining the literature club, it all feels like a blur. Yeah, you've really suited in well, haven't you? Settled. Sorry, I'm retarded. I'm so glad that you managed to make friends with everyone so soon. Especially Yuri. He... Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm just teasing. It really looks like you two are getting along, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we are. She's just really fun to talk to. And she has huge breasts. Always shrouded in mystery, so I never really know what to expect. But it's not a bad thing, you know? I was kind of surprised to see her open up to you so much. I always thought she would just keep in, keep to herself. Y yeah, I guess. I'm not complaining, though. I'm just glad that I've managed to get her out of her shell, you know? I didn't think I'd have anything to talk of her, to talk to her about when we first met, but I'm glad you have been proven wrong. He, she's really smart and elegant, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I've never met anyone like her before. I was kind of scared she'd be really judgmental, cause, well, we both know I'm no poet, nor do I have an extensive taste in reading. But as I got to know her more and more, I felt like we actually have a lot more in common than I realized. She's really opened my eyes to a whole new world of literature, and I'm really grateful for that. Sire is quiet for moments, although, truthfully, I don't really notice. My brain is still preoccupied thinking about all the time I've spent with Yuri. More copy. H huh You were staring off into space. Oh. Uh. <laughs> sorry. I was just thinking about stuff. She looks down for a moment. What kind of stuff do you guys talk about? I've never seen you so lost in thought, so I'm guessing it was pretty deep. Huh, <sighs> would you believe me if I said books? The Awakening, to give an example. I don't think I've heard of it. What's it about? Oh god, that's a question. Well, the main themes are about society? Constraints, loneliness, expectations, that kind of thing. I didn't realize how lonely Yuri was. Discussing the book with it and drawing upon the parallels between its themes and their life really made me notice. Although, in a strange way, it made me enjoy our time together. I felt like she finally had a proper friend she could talk... 
sorry, I, I'm having a, an aneurysm. I felt like she finally had a proper friend she could talk to about her hobbies and walk with around town. I get the feeling she doesn't really get to discuss her literary, literary, literary <laughs> interest in much detail, which is really sad. But seeing how happy and excited she was, it really puts a smile on my own face. That's just like you, Murkapi. Always looking out for others. I remember you were like that with me, when we were kids. Ah, I remember those days as well. They feel like such a long time ago, don't they? They really do. Our conversation is cut short by school looming in sight. After bidding each other goodbye, we both make our ways to our respective classes. About half an hour has passed since the start of the lesson. After explaining the task, Sakurai left us to our own devices while he sits at the front, marking some papers. It's amazing how much more engaging the material is when you actually have an interest in it. I can't exactly say I'm a history buff, but spending time with Yuri especially when we talk about themes has made me appreciate what the world was like during the previous century. It's easy for us to see now, but back then, no one realized Germany was a breeding ground for hatred. Oh gosh, I forgot the teacher's voice. Uh, water break. I usually just give any adult older than us like a, a deeper voice, but that's, that's about as good as we're gonna get. Everything going all right, Markapi? All good on my end, sir. You were right. This century really is interesting, huh? <laughs> of course. Although it's rather unfortunate how I'm limited with how much depth I can go into, given that this is just high school history. Anyway, I wanted to ask you how you're feeling for your upcoming exams. Pretty confident, actually. I've been doing a lot of reading, so I reckon I'll do pretty well with the essay subjects. Well, in that case, I expect your history marks to be a true reflection of how amazing your teacher is. Sorry, teacher humor. Anyway, that's encouraging to hear. How about the sciences and mathematics? Ah, uh, well, not my strong suit, but I've... I, I've... I have a few steady sessions with Yuri, and I'm hoping she consolidates my knowledge. Ah, study sessions. You're adopting a very commendable approach to ensure you're a well-rounded student. It has nothing to do with you wanting to spend more time with Yuri, I assume. Uh... Just teasing. But for what it's worth, take it from me. You've definitely killed two birds with one stone. He winks and chuckles to himself. A warm flush courses through my cheeks as I watch him as he approaches the next student. Well, he strikes me as the kind of guy who's been in my situation before. Ah. Uh -huh. With the sound of bells ringing in my ear, I pack up my things and head for the literature club. I haven't been there in a while. Really? I mean, what, we, we had that Halloween special, and then the, the date? It seems like it's just been a very long time. After waving hello to the girls, I take a seat. Soon after, Monica kickstarts the session. Okay, everyone. As you're all aware, exams are coming up, so over the next few weeks, I think it would be best if we put these sessions on hold. Oh, we're not going to meet. I know no one really wants to, but unfortunately, I'll be too busy to run them. Unless someone else wants to run these sessions in my place. There's a general murmur of conversation. It wouldn't really feel the same without you, to be honest. Agreed. I could do with one more... Uh, I could do with more time to focus on math and stuff anyway. <laughs> as much as I enjoy these sessions, they don't really help out with that. How about you, Sayori? Natsuki? Yeah, it's a shame, but I understand. Fine by me! We need to have a Christmas party, though. Ooh, that's, that's gonna be epic. Like we did with Halloween. Ha, uh, we can definitely plan that after our exams are over. For now, though, let's share a poem, shall we? That was a good session to end, on, to end it on for now, guys. See you all soon. Oh, and Sayori, you wanted to talk? You know, we haven't written a poem in, like... 15 episodes or something. I don't, what are we on? We're on 18. Maybe not 15, but like, it's been a while. 
With that, I head through the door with Yuri in, a t in tow. In tow. What are we, a truck? Ironically enough, I found myself thinking of Sayuri this time as I walk home with Yuri. What does she think about when she walks home? I kind of feel guilty walking home with Yuri instead of Sayori. But Sayori stayed behind to talk to Monica after the club meeting ended, so... A part of me is kind of glad that I get to talk to Yuri alone, though. Markapi? Uh, um, sorry. I sort of spaced out for a bit. It's fine. You must be feeling stressed from all the exam preparation. Yeah, totally. Uh, anyway, I was just saying... I'm glad that we did end up playing this study session together. With my help, perhaps you'll feel less stressed after today. Uh, um, that is to say, if you need any help at all. I I'm not trying to assume anything about your capabilities or anything. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I will need your help. How have you been though? Read any new books? Uh, I actually did start one fairly recently. The Stranger by Albert... Cam Camus, C Camus, <laughs> fuck, what is that word? Camus, Camus, he's, he's from Australia maybe. Uh, huh? Is that any good? It is, at least in my opinion. Simply put, it's about a man who feels like, well, a stranger in society. He's overwhelmingly indifferent to life and as a result freely disregards social norms. I don't know if you're familiar with Cam Camus, but he wrote a lot on the absurd. What, like ridiculous things? Um, more like absurdity in a philosophical sense. Well, he doesn't explicitly speak on it in The Stranger, but the novel is heavily entrenched in themes of absurdity, and they're shown through the seeming innate irrationality of humanity through the plot's events. Funnily enough, the main character only finds happiness after realizing that there is no inherent meaning to life. Uh, um, not that I actually find it funny or anything. Jeez, she's always overthinking her words. It's cute when she gets flustered, but it also makes me worry for her. Well, I'll do what I can to distract her from her nerves. Alright, I think it's time for a water break. Alright, we're good to go. Hmm? So that absurdity comes from the lack of purpose in the universe, then? Not quite. Rather, it comes from the contradiction between the simultaneous need and inability to find that purpose. Dang. Kind of a depressing subject matter, don't you think? I suppose so. But, interestingly, Camus still thought... Sorry, I just get still hung up on the word Camus. <laughs> Camus still thought that we should search for a meaning to life anyway. Hey, want to continue our conversation inside? With a start, Yuri looks up to see that we've reached my house. Ah, uh, uh, I didn't realize that we've already arrived. <laughs> I don't doubt that. After all, our conversation's been pretty interesting. We make our way up to the front door as I rummage through my bag for my keys. Right, there they are. The lock smoothly turns with a sharp click, and with that, we're in. I toss my bag onto the couch, while Yuri places hers gently on the floor. As I stretch, a yawn breaks across my face. Tired already? She sits down on the couch and smiles at me with a gentle chuckle. Honestly, I'm always tired when I get home from school. I can only take so much schooling before I collapse and die. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> I suppose I'll need the defibrillator ready when we start studying. Hope you know CPR, haha. <laughs> I find myself slouching down the couch as we pull out our revision materials. So many notes to look over. Ah, I really don't want to start. Hey, speaking of death... You know how we were speaking about absurdism before? Isn't all that kind of similar to existentialism or nihilism? Oh, I've watched a lot of Rick and Morty. I know all about this, don't worry. Yes, although I'd say that absurdist thought lies somewhere in between those two. Uh, for instance, existentialist would say that you can find a meaning to life. Nihilist would say that you can't, and absurdist would assert that you can do to some extent. So, what would you say your meaning to life is? Hoo-hoo, so you're finally asking this question. 
Hmm. To be honest, I'm not too sure. I don't think I've read enough to form any solid conclusions. Really? You haven't read enough? It, it's not that hard to believe, is it? There are so many books out there that I want to read, but that I may never get to. And there are so many things that I want to do, but can't seem to bring myself to do. Like what? Yuri suddenly looks up and straight into my eyes, her gaze piercing through my soul. L like her eyes seem particularly intense above her blushing cheeks and slightly parted lips. N never mind. She looks away just as quickly, her cheeks deepening in color. Uh, well, regardless, you can always ask for me, ask me for help whenever you need it. Seriously, I'd be really happy if you could depend on me. Th thank you. You're so thoughtful as always. I'm so glad I have you to rely on, Mark Happy. It, it makes me feel safe and secure. Yuri's voice suddenly takes on a sensual bre breathiness, bre breathiness, uh, causing shivers to run down my spine. H hey, Markapi, you m mean it, right? You're not lying, are you? Uh, eh? Um, no. Why would I? That's right. You'd never lie to me. I'm so glad. I'd never have to worry about you abandoning me. Y yeah. More copy. My heart is beating so fast right now. Alright. Yuri's like... She's giving off some vibes right now. I don't know if I'm vibing with this. Uh, I don't know. It, from from like the, the, the original Doki Doki Literature Club... Uh, she, she gets like this before, you know, uh, stuff hits the fan. And, uh, and right now I'm, I'm seeing some similarities. So, uh, if we're heading for the bad ending, this is not good. Uh, but I think we're, m maybe I'm just misreading things. Uh, we'll, we'll go on. Anyway. I don't have much experience with romance, but isn't Yuri acting kind of weird? Yuri must have noticed my uncertain facial expression as she abruptly snaps out of her revere. Ooh, s sorry I just said something weird. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Ah, uh, this is seriously awkward. The only thing I seem capable of doing is laughing uncomfortably. Let's just change the subject. There is nothing strange about showing gratitude. S so don't sweat it, Yuri. R really? Uh, okay then. Thank you. Anyway, We'd better get started on studying before it gets too late. After all, that's the reason why you're here, right? Uh, uh, yes. We spread out all our textbooks and notes on the coffee table to begin deciding on where to start. I'm still feeling too awkward to meet her eyes, but hopefully this feeling fades soon. Ah, shoot. The pen that I'd been spinning twirls out of my grasp and clatters across the table. Yuri jumps a bit, startled by the sudden noise. She must have been concentrating hard on her problem sets. It's no wonder that she's better. She's a better student than me with how incredible, f incredibly focused she can get. All right, time for a water break. If I can't read that sentence, ah, delicious. Well, it's not like I said the bar high or anything, but she's just really diligent. She seems virtually immune to distractions and boredom. Unlike me, my mind probably wanders 80% of the time. It's been a while since we started, hasn't it? Looks like Yuri's picked up on how bored I am. Yeah, we actually got a lot done. Thanks for all your help with math and physics, by the way. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Helping you solidify everything in my mind any- Helping you solidify everything in my mind anyway, so- Haha, <laughs> you don't give yourself enough credit. You're a real lifesaver. Thank you. I know that I sometimes have a hard time articulating my thoughts on certain topics, so just let me know if you need me to explain something again. Well, I think I got the gist of everything for now. My stomach gurgles before I can continue talking about schoolwork. On another note, how does dinner sound? Uh, oh, I wouldn't want to impose. Come on, I'm going to be cooking for myself anyway. What's one more mouth to feed? 
W well if you're absolutely sure huh, of course I am actually do you want extras to take home too I want to make it up to your parents for keeping you away for so long haha <laughs> Ah, uh, they won't need it. You don't need to go that far to be a gracious host. All right then, if you're un if you're sure. You gonna study a little more, or do you want to help make sure I don't burn down the house in the kitchen? Burn the house down in the kitchen. Gosh, that you know, my mind is gone. Ah, uh, I'd love to help, but she bites her lips. She bites her lip. <laughs> okay, a uh, hard reset. Hard reset. Let's uh, let's turn the gears back. We'll see if I can actually use more than two brain cells here. She bites her lip, her cheeks pink. What would it be all right if I were to do a couple of stretches in the living room while you cooked? Oh, dude, I like where this is going. I've seen so many videos go this way. I, I apologize if that is inappropriate. Huh? You mean something like yoga? Um. A little, although I've never specifically done yoga before. It feels a bit embarrassing. It's embarrassing? As I try to imagine Yuri doing yoga, my cheeks begin to heat up. Okay, yeah, I can see why Yuri would think that about yoga. Uh, anyway, there are just some simple stretches to help relieve some of my back and neck pain. I have terrible p posture. And sitting down for extended periods of time with my back hunched over tends to make my muscles incredibly tense. Posture, huh? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Feel free to do your exercise in, in the living room, then. She smiles gratefully at me. It shouldn't take too long. I Christian ponder my dinner options as I head into the kitchen. Hmm. I do still have some frozen dumplings left. But I don't really want to make it seem like they're the only things I ever eat. As much as I love them, a man's gotta have his limits. So, what's another dish that could somehow impress Yuri? Rice is always an option, but I don't know if I have anything to make side dishes with. I quickly wash the rice and pop it in the rice cooker while I think. If I still have some pre-made curry rocks, row, rocks, is, is, is that like the silent X thing, row? Left in the box, then bingo. I have enough ingredients for it, so curry it is. Good thing I went grocery shopping. My mind wanders as I dice the chicken and season it. Ha, this kind of reminds me of when Sayuri and Yuri cooked for me when I was sick. Talking to mom about the house almost getting set on fire was not fun to say the least. I'm just glad she understood that they were taking care of me and that mistake mistakes happen. Speaking of, I'd better get the stove going. After a while, I've got all the vegetables and chicken going in a pot. All it needs now is chicken stock, seasoning, and the curry row, and it'll be done. I wonder how Yuri's doing. Hold on, I should focus on making the food first. No need to pull a Sayori here. The sweet and slightly spicy smell of curry has completely permeated the kitchen by now. I read that as pre-needed in my head, and I was like, wait, that's not a word. It's just like when I was a kid. Back then, it'd be Dad standing here, making the curry. We'd all sit around the table for dinner, talking about our days and the days ahead. I miss those times. But I just need to focus on living in the here and now. All that stuff is in the past. Otherwise, that wouldn't make anyone happy. I'm just going to check on Yuri before I continue down this train of thought. Hey Yuri, you doing okay? A sharp inhale through teeth sounds from the living room. Did I startle her? Whoops. Y yeah Her voice seems a bit strained as she answers back. I didn't ac accidentally mess up her stretching, did I? Uh, I'll be there in a moment. Uh, it's okay. Feel free to take as much time as you need. I'll just be here. A few minutes later, I have the the curry ladled into two dishes alongside fluffy white rice. As if on cue, Yuri finally enters the kitchen, sniffing the air appreciably. Uh, apologies for taking so long, Markapi. No, it's fine. I've made curry before, so I've got this. It looks great, though. I haven't had Japanese curry in a while. Well, feel free to dig in, then. 
She smiles as she settles down into the meal. Eating together with Yuri feels almost like an intimate exercise. She carefully savors each bite as if she were a food critic and printing the dish to her memory. So how's the food? Bring on, the, bring on all the critiques. I'm strong enough to handle them. <laughs> he, your curry turned out quite well. Although, I believe you could have used some more salt and maybe a bit more heat. Uh, you're into spicier dishes, eh? Well, when it comes to curry, I suppose so. My mother did always prefer spicier foods and that ended up influencing my own taste. I'll keep that in mind the next time I cook dinner for you. My own parents like sweeter curries, probably because I don't have much of a spice tolerance to begin with. There's no time like the present to begin building up that tolerance. You've got me there. Anyway, if you're finished, I can take care of the dishes. Uh, oh, no! You're the one who treated me, so I should wash them. I can't allow myself to be such a bother. Hey, it's seriously no bother at all. But... All right, if you're not backing down, how about a compromise? I can wash the dishes and you can dry them. Uh, uh, that works. We gather up all the dishes in pots and dump them in the sink. It doesn't take long for us to settle in a comfortable rhythm of washing and drying the dishes. However, my attention drifts more and more towards Yuri as time passes on. At one point, I'm looking over in her direction more than I am the dishes themselves. Well, she'll probably call me out on it if washing gets too sloppy. She's got that deep look of concentration on her face again. It's pretty amazing how she can get lost in doing things, from studying and reading to even doing the dishes. That's something I seriously admire about her. She has the unwavering ability to completely devote herself to her task at hand. Somehow, I could never see her giving away anything I could never see her giving anything up halfway through or leaving her work unfinished. Honestly speaking, it's a quality that a lot more people need. Um, Markapi? Huh? What's up? You've been washing your hands for almost a minute now. Wait, what? I look down and see that I've been literally scrubbing my hands with the sponge. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was just... Were you lost in thought? Y yeah, guess you could say that. <laughs> Sorry. No need to apologize. You know how often it happens to me after all. I'm surprised that you were that preoccupied with your daydreams though. What were you thinking about, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'm more surprised that Yuri isn't commenting about my staring at her, but it's good to know that I'm more stealthy than I thought. Either that, or she's grown a lot more used to me at this point. Oh, erm, um, I was just thinking about how nice this day has been. Ah, uh, uh, yes. It's been lovely studying with you today. It's always nice being with you. I never find it difficult to talk to you, and you always make me feel comfortable being myself. Y yeah same here We stared at each other for a moment, our blushing faces breaking into smiles. Uh, um, Markapi. Hmm? May I use your restroom? Yeah, my chest is right here. She snuffles away. She shuffles away for a bit, clearly keen to rush away to the bathroom. That wasn't what I was expecting her to say, but if she needs to go, then... Of course, Yuri. You know where it is, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Quick footsteps follow her upstairs to the restroom. Well, I don't know what I was really expecting, but guess I'll head back into the living room. It's not too late in the day yet, but it's already dark out. What's taking Yuri so long? Should I check on her? Shoot, I really hope my curry didn't upset her stomach somehow. I should probably see how she's doing, just in case. Okay, this is... Oh, the door's not closed. This is awesome. Just as I make it to the top, Yuri steps out of the bathroom. Uh, oh, Markapi. Her breathing seems a bit irregular, and she looks noticeably more disheveled that I remember. She must have noticed my concerned gaze as she quickly turns away. Uh, um, is there something on my face? Um, you were just taking a really long time, so I wanted to check if you were okay. Uh, I'm fine, but thank you for your concern. Her breathing is suspiciously uneven. 
Are you sure? I said I'm fine. Erm, um, I, I mean... She takes a deep breath. S sorry for snapping at you. I'm just feeling a little out of sorts. Ooh. Uh, no. I should be the one apologizing. I didn't mean to pry. Although I don't even know what I'm prying into. It must be serious though if Yuri's getting this irritable. Irritable bowel syndrome. It, it's no problem, Markapi. We're quiet as we make our way back downstairs. I wonder what she's thinking. Um, it's starting to get late now. Yep. I was just about to ask you if you wanted to pack up and head out. I probably should. I don't want to keep you up too late on a school night. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. I wish we could just hang out forever, but life has other plans. A light blush tinges Yuri's pale cheeks as she continues putting away her books. Hmm? Not to mention the bus schedule. Yeah, we can't have you missing that now, can we? There's a soft look in Yuri's eyes as she finally takes her bag and moves to stand beside me. I believe I'm ready now. Alright then, let's go. Uh, you know, this seems like a good place to stop, because uh, I feel like the, the walk to the bus stop might be more than just a walk to the bus stop. So I feel like this is a good stopping point, so we're going to do just that and end the episode here. Go ahead, do me four favors, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, help me find a girlfriend. <gasps> and bye bye